you really wouldn't want to mess with El Halji Ndur from Senegal, who now lives in Brooklyn, New York, and is the new face of a rebooted sport. Karate is back with the bank. Yeah, this is a 10-point scoring system, so... Oh, you thought he was going to throw that back fist again, but he did go for a The whole sport's been repackaged for a young audience with bouts staged in a pit instead of a cage. Karate Combat offers an alternative to UFC, the ultimate fighting championships. The fights are short, they look brutal, and they come with graphics showing competitor statistics. Karate is back on all screens too. Cobra Kai, the Karate Kid saga, is a new series on YouTube. It picks up on the original Karate Kid films. Banzai! Daniel LaRusso here for LaRusso Auto. We are chopping prices on all of our inventory. Michael Di Pietro is the CEO of Karate Combat. You join me in the C-suite. Um, what's the idea here? I mean, karate's been around for millennia. Why does it need to be rebooted? Um, you know, right right now, karate is, uh, you know, just been in, uh, become a preliminary sport in the Olympics. Um, and it, there's a lot of rage around it um, and promoting its athletes worldwide. Um, we have international athletes um, signed up to fight full contact in our league, which we created in order to form a very nice viewing audience for the younger uh, generation. Right. Full contact. What does that mean? So currently, the sport exists in a semi-contact format where if you were to injure your opponent, you would pretty much get disqualified. Our athletes train full contact. They train to win. Um, and at the end of the day, they, they um, want to have a venue to um, experience that. But come on, at the end of the day, aren't you really hoping that there's a good dose, maybe, you know what, you don't want anybody to get hurt, but a good bit of blood and gore never goes long, goes amiss. Especially if you're competing with the UFC, WWE, and all all the other contact sports that promote this idea. So the blood and gore, no, right? But the activity, the action, and, and the fighting, yes. Um, we've adapted the rules to prioritize aggression over damage, uh, even though they, these are real professional what fighters. What does that mean? That means that the most active fighters are going to be rewarded more highly than the ones that are counterpunching. Um, you know, and going for the absolute knockout and waiting for the, our, their opponent to come in. We also have taken out knees and elbows. Um, so no elbows means less blood. Oh, yeah. grateful for small mercies. <laughs> and who's your audience? Uh, our audience is a younger generation. We're targeting 18 to 24 year olds, pretty much, uh, you know, people in the younger uh, end of the millennial generation. Um, they seem to like esports and a lot of the video game like stuff, and they really like uh, karate as well. Finally, um, obviously it's a business. Your revenue model will be a combination of advertising and eventually sponsorship and, of course, ticket sales. I'm guessing you're wanting to turn this into a fairly major event-led sport. Yes, uh, we, we, we have, uh, we're, we're going to have events. We're, um, the first one's coming up. Live um, from Miami. Uh, we'll be filming it through uh, karate.com, and you can look at uh, Karate Combat apps, and we have several other distribution partners that'll be filming it as well. Sir, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Oh, and here's uh, the official new uh, uniform for Karate Combat. Uh, we wanted to offer you that. I say, the official uniform. What does it do in pinstripes, I wonder? <laughs> Sir, stand, in the, stand in, the, in the light, just there. Right, show us your best move. Good. Thank you very much indeed. Us. Lots of, lots of bowing. Us. Thank you. Lots of bowing. Thank you very much indeed. Us. He's worked up a sweat. <laughs> And he's fighting tonight, and you can see that, of course, in Miami. And as for me, I shall cherish my karate outfit as soon as I can find a suitable engagement upon which to wear it. <laughs> With my bad back. Um, coming up in just a moment, uh, pollution in uh, paradise. The Philippines shuts one of its most popular tourist attractions because it's overrun with rubbish and garbage. Right.